Hey guys, welcome back. Football season is over. Uh, it's a little sad around here because we really love football. I hope you enjoyed all the playoff cocktails that I did over the uh, last couple of weeks. They were a lot of fun, but now we're stuck in the, around here, we're still stuck in the middle of winter, and it's a winter doldrum. We, you know, the groundhog saw a shadow. They say it's going to be an early spring, but for right now, it's still cold and dreary. So, what better way to break the winter doldrums than with the tropics? So today, I have two treats, actually three treats, two really great tropical drinks, and the extra treat is a very extra special guest, my daughter Jess. Me. Her. She always complains that when can she be on TV, when can she be on a video? So here yeah. she is on a video. So we're gonna make a couple of tropical cocktails from the Caribbean. We've decided after much debate, it's Caribbean, not Caribbean. I said Caribbean. Oh, did you? Yeah. So the debate continues. Sorry. So whatever you call it, I'm dressed. With, I have my Bahamas shirt on. She's still in the winter doldrums with her hockey hat on, hockey stuff on. I got my Bahamas hat on. So the first drink is called a island punch now this is funny when we were making this coming up with this drink we didn't come up with it it's let me research sure a little kind of came up with it uh just some <clears throat> excuse me some ideas and some flavors and i'm writing them down i have a board with all the ingredients and stuff up there and as i'm writing them down jess is like what's the how much do you put in i'm like i put in this much she goes what are you just winging it and Basically, yes. Not what I said, but, you know. Cleaned up, that's what she said. So, starts with some mango vodka. If you don't have mango vodka, you know, any kind of fruity vodka you have is going to work. Wonderful. If you have pineapple, it's going to work. If you have uh, mango, it's going to work. What else would work? Um, She's a, Jess yeah. started bartending at a restaurant she worked at, so she knows this kind of stuff. So, um... Pineapple mango, I think they make. There, there's a one company makes any kind of vodka you can think of. Well, Probably this one doesn't papaya. Even have vodka, and we just decided. Yeah, well, because I <laughs> found it in the freezer. But if you have some kind of tropical fruit vodka, use it in this drink. So I have that. I have some peach schnapps. About the same amount of that. So it's going to be like an ounce of everything, pretty much. An ounce. Oh, well, but we changed because we put the vodka oh, in. Right. You can't be getting people snockered off of one drink. Look it up. Some pineapple, no, no, coconut rum. So we have mango, peach, coconut, and then finally, our friend, Blue Curse. Did you say Curacao or Caraco? I said Curacao. Yeah, I used to say Caraco, but. So. Maybe it's friend that is. We have a blue drink. This is going to be a blue drink, and we all know. Who loves blue? So do you think Uncle Tim is going to be digging on this drink? Yes. <laughs> so then, a little bit of lemonade. And then, explain why I answered that way in the fashion I did. No. Everybody knows why if they watch the channel. And if you don't watch the channel, you should. Go back, watch all the videos. And see Uncle Tim's appearance on the Homecraft Chronicle. At his own bar. At his own bar. That was a great road trip we had. So we're going to shake this one up. I don't think this glass is completely symmetrical because it leaks. And then... Are you sure it wasn't an airtight seal? It wasn't an airtight seal. I need a strainer, which I'm going to use this one because we didn't bring the other one down. Oh, look at that oh. shade of blue. Tim, Tim will be all over that. Uncle Tim, you're going to love it. So, tropical drink, garnish it with some pineapple, some whatever you got is going to work great. A couple of straws, because we're going to be drinking this drink in a little bit. A tropical umbrella. And that starts us off with... The Island Punch. Okay, one great drink out of the way, and next, 
This one, the last drink was for my brother Tim, Uncle Tim. This one, since we're talking tropics, and this drink is called a Caribbean cupcake. And we have friends, Jess doesn't know her, but Lisa knows her. Great friends from our vacation in the Bahamas, Carol and Manny. And Carol makes me cake when I go on vacation because she tortures me with vanilla candles and I thought she was making cake. So now she makes cake when, when we're on vacation. So this drink is for Carol and Manny and it is called, a, what did we say? Caribbean. Caribbean, Caribbean cupcake. And it starts out with the glass. So you cannot have cupcakes without sprinkles. So we need some sprinkles on this glass. Man, this stuff skins over fast. Yes. So, huh? So he has sugar. So we're gonna put some sprinkles on this glass. Just rim your glass with um, some corn syrup, like we do time and time again. You know how to do this. We've done this many times. And then we're just gonna put some rainbow sprinkles on there. Sprinkles. These are sprinkles or confetti sprinkles, whatever you wanna call They're them. They're not Jimmy's. They're not Jimmy's. Jimmy's is a Philly thing. And Jimmy's are long. Yeah. They're long ones. So that's the glass. We're going to set it off to the side for now. So do you want to make this one? Sure. Okay. Do you, do you want to use the great, the, yeah. with, the, with the thing you can sure. free pour? You don't, oh, Jesus, listen to me. So first up, we need some vanilla vodka. Oh, Van an, ow, oh, go ahead. An ounce and a half of vanilla vodka. One. We'll go in between the one and the two. There you go. That's, We're, that's, that's going to be a serious drink. That's all right. You're not pouring it back. It's a lot. Well, it's a cake drink, so you need a lot of vanilla. And it wasn't as vanilla the last time. So. Yeah. And then some amaretto, because you need some almond in a, in, a, in, a, in some cake. A half ounce. Actually, you could go, go, I'd go three quarters. So should I just... Just go almost up to the next line. That's almost a whole. Yeah, I'll take. That's good. Well, this is, is going to be a serious drink too, but don't worry. Like always, all the recipe ingredients will be in the in the uh, description. Some coconut rum. I'm all sticky. How much of that? A half ounce. Or in just Stroll. ounces. Yeah, you go. Like hey, one. it's vacation in the middle of winter. A little drink, strong drink is not going to hurt you. And then some juice we need. I don't know which one that is. That was this orange. Is, That's I mean, orange. Pulp. Yeah. The pulp. So, probably. Up to five? That's out in here. That's good. No. We're just eyeballing this one. Yeah. This, this, you know, I tell you normally I don't make these drinks ahead of time. But this time I actually did pre make them. And we had a little bit too much juice the last time. Uh, that's good. So that was pineapple. So we have vanilla vodka, coconut rum, amaretto, orange juice, pineapple juice. And then you give it a shake. Maybe don't. Huh? It wasn't in there. No. Maybe it's this glass. It, no. Okay. No, I'm now, lucky. Now, do you know the difference of when to shake and when to stir? I do. What? Well, I learned that you stir when it's all liquor. Yeah. And then you shake when it's mixed with juices or something like That's that. That's correct. How'd you learn that? Who told you that? You're ch hit the you. metal thing. Hit But I also learned that you stir when it's like dark liquors. Really? Yeah. And then even shake it's when got, it's like... Even if it's got stuff in it? Well, I feel like you don't usually... There's not a lot of dark liquors in like concoctions like this. There's a lot of dark rum. I'm going to pour this all over the place too. See what? 
Oh, no. I'll just top it off with the rest of the ice in there. Actually, that's pretty good. Perfect pour. A couple of straws. Umbrella. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get the coaster. And for Carol and Manny in the Bahamas, the Caribbean cupcake. All right, now for the moment of truth, we got to try these bad boys. So, which one first? Highland Punch. Highland Punch. You made it first. Okay. So, will this meet the Uncle Tim approval? That's a winner. Tim, you're gonna like that one. That's good. You know what makes that drink? The the, the best flavor in that drink is the is the mango vodka. I told you you didn't absolutely need you the mean. tropical vodka. I lied. You do. Whether it's mango, if you have mango, that's gonna be the best. But I think pineapple, too. pineapple would work. Uh like I Go to that the one vodka that has every flavor there is: guava, pineapple, mango, um, pa did they have papaya. I don't know, but any one of those probably. is probably going to work. So let's try this one. Cake. He said, "I wonder if it's really going to taste like cake." That's a lot of vanilla vodka. Yeah. Hopefully, with the vanilla vodka. It's cake like. It tastes like. Oh, you know what? It, it tastes like pineapple upside down cake. It does. It does. It does. This one. Yeah, if you had a cherry, cake. you know, like the cherry, you, with the rings with the cherry, that's it's exactly what it takes. Carol. That's more cakey. Pineapple than. upside down cake. Mark your calendar. Does she have to make you one? Yes. Well, she's a smart woman. She'll figure it out. So. Sounds better than the last time. Yeah. When we tested these, scientific testing for you, on your behalf, it was too it was too juicy the last time. But I still think I like this one better. What are we back to football season? You're trying them, see which one's better. This one is not a contest. They're both really good. So either one you yeah. make, you're going to be a winner. So if you want to break what? I was going to say, like, the first time around. Yeah. This one, definitely. But this one's, like, contending this time. Yeah. So. They're both delicious. If you want to break the winter doldrums and get a little taste of the tropics before the nice weather gets here, try either one of these. Try them both. But if you're going to try them, one. Do it responsibly. And two, do it with somebody cool. So, for now. That's it. Wait, I have a quick question. What? What's a doldrum? A doldrum? It's like the blahs. Mm. The winter blahs. How about that? The winter blahs. Okay. If you don't know what a doldrum is, it's the winter blahs. So, maybe don't do it with somebody you like because you'll get a lot of questions. <laughs> but anyway, enjoy the drinks. Have fun with family and friends. And until we see you next time, Cheers. Mm. Mm. Cheers. I always forget that.